Hey my friends, how are you all doing out there? I hope you're doing super, super, super awesome well. I am Ashley Elix, and in this video today, I really just wanted to sit down and play with a bunch of the makeup that I just got from my Jeffree Star Valentine's Day mystery boxes. I know some of you also scored some Valentine's Day mystery box goodies too, and some of you just have some of the products in your collection already. So I wanted to create this look that you see right here. I'm going for like that graphic liner type of look using one of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Ooh. So hopefully that gets you guys amped up and inspired. Like I said, if you have one of these pieces already, but if you don't, do not worry. I will be throwing up some swatches as I go. That way you can kind of compare it to your collection at home. So you don't particularly have to have these pieces because I know some of them are limited edition and exclusive, you know, so I don't want to leave you guys in the dark, but that's not all this video is about. No, 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 no. I am also doing a giveaway. I am giving away a Jeffree Star blue blood palette because I received this in the Supreme size mystery box, but... I already have one and there is no way that I'm ever gonna hit pan on it. So I have no need for two of them. So I'm giving away to one of you guys. If you wanna enter into that giveaway for a chance to win, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to me here on YouTube. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram if you're not already and then leave a comment down below with your Instagram at handle because that is the best way I have found to be able to notify the winner through Instagram DMs. So go ahead and do that if you'd like. All the other details and specifications about this giveaway are listed down in the description box. So you could check that out if you'd like. But enough about all of that, okay? I am ecstatic, okay? How about that? Ecstatic today to use some of this makeup. I use a different word other than excited. Congratulations me. So if you guys want to see how I created that makeup look and all of the products that I use, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop. All right, so I'm starting off with a bare face, but I did already do my brows and I primed my eyelids. I used the ABH eye primer pretty much like I always do. Now, some of the Supreme Mystery Size boxes contained the Blue Blood palette. So I grabbed my original one that I first got when the palette first launched. So this is my own personal one right here that's very heavily used. I have the giveaway one over, put aside, put away untouched because obviously I wanna keep that separate. Grabbed mine just in case you received it also because I'm gonna be using the base shade called Wealthy right here. I'm gonna grab my little brush that I like to set underneath my eyebrows with and I'm gonna set that area. So right underneath and right over here. I don't set the whole lid because I want the pigment to really stick to the eye primer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Alien palette that I got in the premium box. I'm gonna be using just one shade in here. This is gonna be a pretty simple look, I think. I'm gonna be using the tall gray shade right here, which I'll swatch for you in case you don't have this, but you wanna kind of, you know, mimic this look and everything. So it's a beautiful, beautiful gray. Now, remember in that video when I was like, oh, I can't use grays, so, um, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna use a gray today anyways. I'm gonna go against what I said because I want to, dang it, because you know what? All makeup is wearable as long as you wear it, am I right? But if you didn't get that palette, but you happen to get the mini jawbreaker in the deluxe box, you can use this shade right here, Hot Fudge. It's not as gray. It's more of a brownie taupey gray, but it has like a similar vibe. And I think with what we're going for today, it'll still look really cool. So just, you know, interchange it, whatever. If you don't have a gray in your collection, you can try doing that, you guys. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. If you need some inspiration for some looks using this, check out some of my videos I have on it because I love it so much. I love it. Now for this kind of cut winged out type of shape, I'm not gonna be laying anything down because I don't have any base makeup on. I can take a makeup wipe and clean it up to get that carved out line. If you already have your face of makeup done though, what you can use is something like this that comes in palettes, you know, to protect the shadows. I usually hang on to these because I, what I can do is I like to line it up just like this. In fact, I'll show you guys and just, oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier, you guys. Just like that. And we just kind of pack it on and soften. The brush that I'm using is from the BH Cosmetics Rose Romance set. It's a little fluffy angled brush and it's just nice for packing on and doing a little tiny bit of a blend. So I'm gonna be winging that out and lifting it up right into that crease area. Just make sure before you remove the little plastic sheet, if that's what you're doing, make sure that it's completely to your liking because it just makes it so much easier having that little guide there that you can just, you know, rub onto it and the shadow's not gonna go anywhere, it's so easy. And since I have slightly hooded eyes, I like to do a little check and make sure that by looking straight on, that the shadow extends high enough for me to actually be able to see the shadow that I'm laying down, you know? Because a lot of it disappears 
when I just talk and open my eyes and I'm not, you know, stretching my eyebrows up to make it so that I can see everything. I'm just gonna keep this plastic on because it is so easy and it's already there. So I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. This is a little fluffy brush, Sigma E40. Okay, I think that is pretty good. Let me go ahead and take it off. You see that sharpness? Oh, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> so easy ah oh, i love it okay and you can actually do the same thing with the liquid liner in a bit when we go to do that if you are worried about like having a steady hand you can just lay that down and it'll just avoid mistakes and then you don't have to go back and clean it up and it's just so much easier so anyways i'm gonna go ahead now and just place the rest of the gray all over now if you want to get funky and creative i think it would be really cool to do another color right here in the inner corner say like a purple or something or if you're not even using the liquid lipstick that we're going to be using to lay down liner i think it'd be cool to be green unless you want to do the green and the red and then that would be like a christmas holiday theme which would be really cool too oh, i'm so inspired you guys i just love that i love having palettes that just my creative juice is flowing, you know? Now I'm gonna take a more precise blending brush just cause I don't want it to extend too high up and I tend to get a little carried away. So I'm gonna take this little one, it has like a point to it and just do a little blend, soften the edge in the inner corner. That is looking fierce, seriously. <laughs> I, um, okay. I'm liking it right now. I should be really mad at myself for saying that I don't look good in gray makeup and gray eyeshadows because I really dig this, which is to say a lot because the rest of my face makeup isn't done and I feel like I usually look crazy. Okay, maybe I just found the perfect gray shade for me finally, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and catch up on the other eye really quickly and then we will start playing with that liquid lipstick and use it as an eyeliner. All right, now we'll go back to the palette in a second when I do the lower lash line, but for now, let's dive into that liquid lipstick. I'm gonna be using the mystery shade from the Valentine's Day box, I believe. Sorry, I don't remember now because it's all just like jumbled. I believe this was in the Deluxe Supreme. You guys let me know down below which box had this one in it. I'm going to take some of that liquid lipstick and pop it on the back of my hand so I can work from that as a palette. And I have two brushes here. I have a little one from ColourPop that's like a flat angled brush. I do like this, but I sometimes don't get as much of a point when I'm using the liquid lipsticks with it. When I'm using gel, it works great. So for the point, I'm gonna be using this little one from the Bendelin brushes. This is 706 it's a little itty bitty tiny brush so i'm gonna be painting it on first with that brush and you know what let's use our little sheet for this let us do that i'm going to line it up really carefully since i do have slightly hooded eyes i kind of lay my head back and lift up my eyebrows slightly and just lay that down i'm going to extend it just almost to the edge of the gray but not quite to the end I do need to layer this a little bit. That's kind of how some of his liquid lipsticks are. Once I feel like that's good, I'm gonna gently peel it off. Okay, I'm gonna switch now to my other brush because that one's better for my lash line. Connecting it to what we lay down, all the way to the inner corner. Okay, I just realized I took it a little too low down here on the bottom. So I just took this makeup wipe and just gently swept it like you saw. This part was fine. It was just like that brought the red down too low. So that's an easy fix as you just saw. Okay. Now I wanna make sure that dries. Cause like I said, slightly hooded eyes. I don't want it to stamp on top. You guys, that looks so freaking cool. If you don't have this shade, if you didn't get this box, you can use so many different things, but all of his liquid lipsticks are supposed to be eye safe. I think it would be really cool if you did happen to get the holiday mystery boxes and you got the liquid lipstick that's the Christmas shade. It's kind of like the same shade as my late nails. That would be even more popping really cool. But if you have any of his red liquid lipsticks or something like that, that would look cool. I believe ColourPop has some gel eyeliners and they probably have a red shade. I'm pretty sure they have a red shade and it won't be shiny, but you could always add a little bit of highlight on there or something to make it have that look. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep working on this eye, make it easier. You can stop right here if that is enough for you because it definitely has a whole vibe or you can add to it and make it even more graphic. So I'm going back to the little tiny bitty bitty brush. I'm gonna be creating that wave over there. So this part is gonna take a lot of focus. Okay, gotta stretch out, do my stretches. Okay, lean back. And it's just, you're gonna kind of have to go with your eye shape and I want it to go over 
where my eye crease is so a little bit higher because I want to be able to just like have it peek out when I open my eyes oh the pressure And I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it to how far I want it to go. This right there is good. And then I'm just gonna go back over it all and kind of fine tune it. It is tedious and it takes some practice, but just remember makeup is just for fun. Let's have some fun, don't take it too seriously. Okay. I'm obsessed with this. Sorry, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I freaking love it. But the hardest part is yet ahead. I have to try my hardest to uh, make it as even in proportion as possible on the other side. So I'm gonna take all my concentration and do that and we'll be right back. So I did my base makeup and I did a tiny bit of contouring, but we're gonna be going back to applying stuff now. So I'm gonna grab the 24 karat palette that I got in the deluxe size box, I'm telling you. Even after all these videos, I'm mixing up which one I got from which and then it's just like, oh, I'm just like a hodgepodge in my brain. So I originally wasn't gonna keep this palette, but then you guys, some of you guys were like, trying to, you know, tell me what, what would be good for it. Oh my gosh, it just broke. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. Well, good thing I'm keeping it anyways. I was thinking about doing a giveaway with it, but like I was saying, some of you guys were like, no, but like, go look at swatches, try it, because some of these shades you can definitely use. So what I was gonna say is I'm gonna be using this as a bronzer today and then this blush, but look it, that's probably my fault. I was maybe a little too rough with it. Let me see. I have the Platinum Frost palette. I feel like I do that all the time. This I have forever, the Platinum Ice palette. This is, as I don't lay it all the way down, but even still, it's not breaking. I can do it like this to show you guys. This one just busted open. Okay, that's sad. Um, um, it's just cardboard though, so I can easily glue that back together. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, be careful with your palettes. They don't go back as far as maybe some of the eyeshadow palettes like the Alien palette. Maybe that was a given, but I just, it's a sad moment. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna take Dark Horse right here. It might be a little too shimmery, but let's see, let's try it. Because if you got this palette and you wanna utilize it, but maybe you are of lighter skin tone, maybe this will help. Let's try it out. Definitely a beautiful palette though for darker skin tone oh my goodness as like a highlighter so let's just take it in here yeah so it definitely works as that it does it does it's a little more red tone almost but it's still really pretty and if you're in a pinch honey that works what I did with the peppermint frost one because the peppermint frost the bronzer in there seemed like it was a little bit darker I mixed it with a matte bronzer because that's kind of how I like to do it anyways I don't like a bronzer that's full shimmer. I don't like a bronzer. That's too matte I like my contour to be matte. So what I do is I dip that bron that darker highlighter and then the matte bronzer swirl it together and blend it out and it is it is beautiful So pretty but you can do the same thing with this. So I'm just going to lightly bronze it up a little bit I'm tapping only a tiny bit. That's why you're not seeing a lot come off. That is really pretty though. Ooh, you guys, I appreciate, I appreciate when you guys take your time to comment and say like, mm, careful girl, before you try to get rid of that, you might really like it because I, I thank you. I thank you because sometimes I'm not thinking outside of the box. I'm just looking at it for what it is and I'm not thinking it all the way through. So definitely appreciate that. Now I'm gonna take Legendary right here. And I believe some of these he actually makes in his single skin for us. I don't remember which ones. I'm pretty sure Sarcophagus and I don't remember. Maybe, I feel like I saw Dark Horse before, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna take that Legendary shade and just use it as a little blush. Yeah, it's definitely shimmery. And in fact, I probably could use that as a highlight. I think if you build it up, it'll have a lot more pigment to it. Or as like a mix-in. Mix that pinky one with like a, with a lighter highlighter and that would just give a really pretty iridescent. Oh, look at that glow. That is so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, and if you ever feel like you overdo it a little bit, you could just take a little fluffy brush and just press it out. It'll help to kind of blend into the skin. Look at Sarcophagus. That looks like a straight up Ofra Rodeo Drive dupe, if I did say so myself. 
Oh, that is so pretty. That's kind of the reason why I ended up just deciding to keep it. Cause I was like, you know what? Now I only have a small pan of that one. This one would last me forever. So I gotta go glue that now. My mistake, my mistake. I do have to say though, I know some of you guys got the Platinum Ice Palette and it is a really pretty palette. I've had it since it first launched. It was actually one of my Christmas gifts that year that I asked my husband to get it. But I have to say just a little, like a, I guess I wanna critique it. I feel like the packaging on 24 karat is so much more luxurious than Platinum Ice. Ice. The outer sleeve for Platinum Ice was way cooler. It was you know, silver version of this, but more glittery. I feel like he could have uh, done something totally different, but that's just my opinion. And I, you know, everybody's different. This, this blows me away. I'm just saying. Well, let me grab the other highlighter palette now. So this is Brain Freeze that I got in my Supreme box, which I am super, super excited for too. This one feels heavier. It's a little bit thicker than the 24 karat and Platinum Ice. I'm going to take a little bit of frozen fruit and I'm gonna mix it with cold shoulder. Yeah, because I have like this pinky vibe going. Oh yeah, that is so, whoo. So it has like this grayish bluish shift and then this pinky shift together. That is really, really pretty. This is what, this is exactly what I like about mystery boxes, you guys, because I wouldn't have bought either of these highlighting palettes. And now I'm like, wow, these are beautiful. I love them. When the Jawbreaker collection came out, I thought this was cool, but I didn't obviously like it enough to just straight up buy it. But now I'm so glad that I have it. And I kind of wish I bought it sooner, although, I'm glad I didn't it because I just got it in the mystery box, you know, but that's what I love about his mystery boxes. If you don't mind getting some avant-garde colors and some new different and unique products, that's just such a fun way to try some like good quality products that maybe you wouldn't otherwise go for, you know? I'm just freaking excited. This is so cool how you can just like, I'm just kind of layering it and just building up. And I'm gonna take a little bit on the nose. Right there. Okay, so cute. That's enough of that for now. I just realized I didn't put my lashes on. I just did my face and I just came back. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit that in a second. Maybe I'll know kind of more what I wanna do after I do my lips. So obviously for lips today, I am gonna use the mystery shade that I was using as eyeliner earlier. And I'm going to put this on my lips now. I would say obviously, but not obvious because I did it on my eyes earlier, so. This has some nice opaqueness. You have to layer it like a little bit on the lips, not that bad compared to some of his formulas I've used. What I do notice now after, this is the second time I've used it on my lips and then of course, you know, to use it on the eyes, it starts to get a little bit thick and chunky. Not chunky, it's not terrible. I have Purple Urkel for my last mystery box and that one is watery and chunky. I can get it to work, but it's a little bit weird. This one, it's, I think it's just kind of how his metallic liquid lips are. I just wanna, you know, mention that but it still works and you know what i wore it for like i did that instagram video and i wore it for at least eight hours through two meals and it was still on so i can't complain about the longevity it was amazing all right i went ahead and threw on lashes because it was kind of bugging me so i used the ilor x jasmine brown lashes what are these ones called in particular JB Dramatic, super pretty because they kind of wing out and there's still a lot of gaps in it. So I'm not hiding all that work that I did with the liquid lip as an eyeliner. So I really like that. This is the lippy just by itself. There we go. So you can see that really pretty. I've heard some speculation that the mini liquid lip that's in the new bundle that's going to be coming out for the purple collection, the bloodlust collection, people are saying maybe it's going to be a dupe for this one. In my opinion, based off his swatch alone, I don't think so because it looks a lot more pink and bright. This one is deeper, but not quite as red as his Christmas one. So I, sorry, I think it kind of like is a little different. We'll see when I get it. If I feel like it is very similar, you guys will know when I do, you know, some swatches and stuff, if I can get my hands on it, of course. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloss in the center just to amp it up a little bit. I'm gonna use succulent because it has like a cool little blue shift to it, which I think will look really cool with this grayish blue that we had laid down. I don't remember which box this was in. Sorry, remind me down below because like I said, I'm getting very confused. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right on the center. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so, oh, it's so pretty. This is exactly what I was telling you guys. I was like, these two together will be so pretty. In my Instagram video, I used softcore sparkle, which was really pretty, but this is just 
Oh, taking it to another level. So, 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 so pretty. Okay. Now I've been trying to decide what I wanted to do with the lower lash line. And you know what? I don't think I want to do anything. No shadow. I think it looks cool and dramatic just like that. I like how I get that lifted look. I'll try doing a little bit in the waterline of this. Let's just try it and see how it looks. You can always wipe it off. I'm gonna take that little ColourPop angled brush. Ooh, 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 that is pretty. And you know what? It's going on very easily. That is really pretty. Rope it's eye safe, cause I just got some in my eye. Okay, ooh, cool. Yeah, cool. I can dig it. I can dig that. Oh my gosh, okay. One more thing that I think I wanna do. Let me grab the mini breaker. I wanna try and incorporate this in case you got your hands on it too. I kinda wanna take the shade Oral right here and just add a little bit in the inner corner and then maybe some highlight on top of that just cause I like my inner corner to pop, you know? Ooh, oh, that kinda ties in with the lip gloss. I don't wanna do much. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Grab brain freeze. I'm gonna do cold shoulder. So whatever like light iridescent shimmery type of highlighting or eyeshadow shade you have. Whoa, that's kind of fun. Yeah, that definitely ties in with the lip gloss. Very neat. Okay, I went ahead and styled my hair really quickly. So this is the finished look all done. You guys, that highlighter, that highlighter is shining to the moon. Oh, I am loving this look. I don't think that's any surprise there. I am really, really excited about how it turned out and the liquid lipstick performed so well as a graphic liner. I've never used it quite this in-depthly before and that was super, super cool. This was so much fun playing around with all the different stuff that I got in my mystery boxes. Like I said during the video, this is why I like his mystery boxes because because it pulls me to play with stuff and try things that I probably wouldn't normally go out and purposely purchase, you know what I mean? Uh, very, very cool, very fun. I will be doing a video all focused on this Alien palette for those of you who already have it in your possession or maybe you got it in your mystery box or maybe you just wanna see some different ideas from it. Unfortunately, it is sad because he did say he's gonna be discontinuing it, but I know a lot of you guys out there still have it and have asked me to do a video featuring some looks for that. So I usually do a three looks, one palette type of video on my channel so I will be working on that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed if you want to see that. And even if you don't want to see that, I post three times a week, all beauty related, all cruelty free. So if you want, you can subscribe. But I think that's it for today. I could seriously go on and on and on and chit chat with you guys all day, but I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you again so much to all of you guys out there who stopped by and checked out my little makeup tutorial, playing with all of this fun stuff. And I hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you go out there, you guys, and have a great freak awesome, wonderful, special, beautiful day. What am I going to say? That highlighter, you guys, that highlight. Trash day, trash day. We're having a lot of fun. What am I talking about? There we go. Cool beans. I dream a genie moment. Do, 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 uh, uh. So, oh, the trash truck is so loud.